Five minutes from Israel's ultra-modern international airport is the city of Lud. Smack in the heart of the country and rich in history, Lud has been Israel's shameful backyard, crime-infested, culturally challenged, and religiously divided. There are problems in the city. They are outsiders. There are drug dealers and I can't fight them. Now the community is coming together to shed the stigma. It has begun a grassroots campaign to change the face of the city. Nothing symbolizes Lud's multicultural coexistence more than the triangle of peace. It is here that a church, synagogue and mosque actually share walls. In a new model of Jewish-Arab partnership, a foundation has been set up that will see all neighborhoods working together to clean up their town. Behind this effort stands a young dynamic couple who recently moved to town. The Lud Foundation aims to revamp the city, solve cultural disputes, and put it back on the tourist map, beginning with the visitor center. People themselves began to believe that they can do something. And even though this may sound like a very improbable dream, these people sit in our own living room. We both live in the city, and they sit together, religious nationalist Jews, uh, very religious Muslims, and talk about how they both are going to create this visitor center. I saw Lord not as other people see it, as a capital of crime and drug dealing, but as an opportunity an opportunity to create the success story that the Middle East needs that can show that Jews, Christians and Muslims can not only live together but can develop their city together. The World Monument Fund recently included Lud on its list of heritage sites. To mark the occasion, the city held an open house inviting local business leaders, potential investors and international donors. I'm not talking too much doing and trying to be involved, not by giving money, it's not enough. You have to involve yourself, your experience, your knowledge, and to give the people this kind of feeling you have and advise them in the way you do and be around. City youth, Arab and Jew, proudly escorted visitors, showcasing the church where St. George is buried, an ancient Mamluk mosque and synagogue, the crown cultural attraction of the ancient city sharing of ethnic dishes and musical entertainment capped the evening. And I'm here helping the new foundation that has been created by the people of Lod without the interference of the mayor or the government or any political bodies here. We need time, all of us, the Arabs, the Jews, everybody needs time to understand how to communicate with one another. This is the time to start applying, applying what we know. It's an example that if we can work together, we can create essentially holy land that is holy for all, fertile for all, and with justice for all. This is more than a story of Israelis and Arabs living together. Lud is a microcosm of the Israeli-Arab conflict. If the community's work here is successful, it might be a model for the region. Located just 15 minutes from Tel Aviv, this ancient crossroad town has its work cut out for it. But the residents are ready for action. We do have problems, but we'll overcome them, little by little. I believe that Lod will be an exemplary city in this country. This depressed city shared a proud moment for one night. They hope that Lod will no longer be a place you pass by, but a destination. From Lud, this is Felice Friedson for the Media Line.